Hello guys and welcome to a new um, tutorial on not a tutorial, it's more an introduction video. Or less an introduction than a um, a presentation. Yeah, that's the perfect word for it. Um, I've played a little with this muscle system here I've created and um, yeah I found a new method how to how you can um, make this sticky bind option so that this muscle really looks realistic and um, you can really hold volume with this and um, beware of it or um, be careful because you need um, to know how you can work with the mesh deform modifier and um, if you don't know how to um, how you can work with it um, you can could for example, watch some tutorials about it, or yeah. Well, make sure you know um, how you can uh, work with the mesh deform modifier. I will show you how you, how I made this here, um, and I will I made a quick animation. I created this uh, cool little character here to present it, to present it to you, um, and yeah, I will show you the animation quick, um, and you can see how. Um, cool this looks. Okay, you can see um, how well the muscles um, deform our object and um, how well volume is uh, becomes holded here in for example the shoulder areas and uh, parts like this and um, also how this um, breast muscle here is uh, following or working together with the skin. This looks very awesome. Um, I can show you this uh, when I... So there's no jiggle, but you can see um, these uh, muscles are um, really working together with the skin in a very good way. So, um, for example here in the latissimus area this looks very cool and yeah you can do um, very cool things with this I'm uh, pretty sure and yeah well so this is um, just one area uh, one side with the muscles I could copy this to the other side but um, I will show you the um, uh, the side where these muscles are and affecting the skin so you can um, see the difference for example here and here here you could work uh, a little more for example but all in all this looks much better than this side and uh, also here at this area this looks much more realistic and yeah I found out that this is a very good method uh, to work with muscles or with my muscle system. Um, you could either use the free method or um, yeah, the paid version here, the uh, which is available on the lender market. Um, but I think this uh, technique could be used in um, many ways. But as you can see, this um, also with jiggle here works very good. For example, let's uh, bring uh, some uh, new movements into this part so you can see. This is very extreme and because I want to uh, let you see the difference and um, yeah these are very extreme deformations you could um, just uh, for example adjust some um, adjustments here so and yeah all in all this works very good okay let's undo this quickly Okay, fine. But as you can see, it does its job very good. Okay, how uh, did I create this? Um, 
first I this is a just a very 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 basic rig just the rigify um, the rigify add-on used and um, post this armature uh, into the right place of this model so um, you can move every uh, bone here individually and on, uh, only the legs there are inverse kinematics um, to have a little more control over the uh, movement a bit more control over the movement and um, yeah everything else works just fine and um, yeah, the thing is that uh, the um, the big mist uh, the big secret uh, about this um, deformations here is the mesh deform modifier and uh, for this I created a very rough cage I could show you this in the solid mode um, and this rough cage is um, as you can see here um, deforming our beer monster and uh, you can see this is the mesh deform cage I bound it with a precision of 7 I think um, yeah with a precision of 7 I could show you this <coughs> quickly where is the yeah there uh, precision of uh, <coughs> 7 and dynamic and then bound it to it um, then I created an armature modifier because as you can see um, there are some areas which are not affected by any muscles or some uh, stuff of uh, some stuff like this this is the um, the hands areas hand areas and the foot areas and the head area um, here are some individual oh wait, some individual bones which uh, can for example uh, move the jaw and this is very hard to do with the mesh deform modifier so I made a vertex group to separate it from it here the mesh deform no effect vertex group and with this vertex group you um, define which area and this uh, armature modifier has no effect on the model and the mesh, mesh deform modifier also and this looks uh, this has another advantage because if you for example rotate this hand here you can see how well this uh, deforms and um, yeah normally if I would um, for example disable this and disable this this would look very ugly here as you can see and with the deform modifier a uh, mesh deform modifier um, this looks much better. Well, this is just one advantage. Uh, also on the foot here, looks very nice. Um, same thing with the head. You can see this looks here a little ugly because um, this is the area where the mesh deform modifier does not affect our mesh, only the armature modifier. And because of this, here is a such a creepy gap. But you can, um, or I could uh, smooth this here, this part, so this would not be visible anymore. And uh, well, yeah, um, yeah. As I said, these uh, I created these muscle objects here. And you can see how well they um, fit, and the um, Another cool thing is you can select every individual muscle and um, make changes uh, afterwards. So, for example, you could increase. Oh, okay. You, uh, for example, you say, um, "Well, this uh, breast here is a little too big, so we could shrink this." And you could um, change the base length, for example, to 0.2. And now breast does not look so big anymore and uh, for example okay this latissimus uh, muscle here the back muscle does not look so uh, cool because it's too small so you can can um, change the volume to for example let's say five 
and um, yeah, this would look much better or much bigger, not better, <laughs> but bigger. So let's um, make this, set this to its old values. And um, yeah, this works just fine. Then you and um, then I just uh, bind these um, um, muscles to. Okay, well, um, I. Uh, okay, wait a second. Okay, now I. It looks fine. Um, I've. Uh, shrink wrap these muscles to um, this cage and this cage because this cage is deforming um, this um, beer monster here um, this gives a very very good effect um, as you can see here's um, and uh, it doesn't matter if something is collapsing here because um, as you can see, this would look terrible in uh, on an object, uh, on a on a finished object. So um, this looks much better here on this mesh uh, form cage. Also with jiggle, very cool. And yeah, you could uh, make animations with it, and if this animation does not fit uh, very good, then you could um, just, uh, let's say, okay, well, for this cut, this muscle here looks a little too big, so let's uh, make this bait length a little shorter. And now this looks not as bad as before. Well. Very cool. Also, the um, biceps here looks very cool and organic. And uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helped you a little. Um, also, I want to um, I wanted to because um, I'm now going on a in, um, university about uh, uh, media design or um, yeah. They work with Maya a lot, and I also work with Maya a little. And um, yeah, I thought I could make a second channel for Maya. What do you um, think about this idea? Would you um, like this, or would you say, oh no, please don't, uh, please uh, stay with Blender? Uh, I, of course, I will stay with Blender, and this is uh, not a question. This isn't a question because um, Blender is my uh, primary program. I hope this sounds correct, but <laughs> um, I hope this was correct. But uh, yeah, I will never leave Blender. I love Blender. It's the, for me, the best program. But Maya has some um, advanced features, which are also very good. For example, the um, complete working muscle system. This muscle system is working also, but um, there are some things that are very better than in Blender, but also there are some uh, things in Blender that are very better than in Maya. Um, if you want to see a comparison in German, um, then you can uh, take a look at my channel and there you'll find um, my uh, thoughts about these two programs. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway, uh, tell me your uh, the thoughts about uh, this idea, what you, uh, if you would like this, to um, have a channel where you could learn Maya a little. Um, also, if I make tutorials, I learn, um, by the way, uh, a lot too, and this is very good um, for me and for you, so um, we both can learn a little more about this. Uh, these programs and uh, keep in mind that a true artist is uh, able to work with a lot of programs to create a very good and um, beautiful result.
So, um, with these words, I uh, thank you a lot for watching this tutorial, and I hope um, you could learn a lot. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you uh, next time. Bye.